Jay-Z's backup singer exposes Jay-Z and Beyonce on live TV for doing demonic rituals. I've been sounding the alarm about this for quite some time now, and I was seen as a crazy conspiracy theorist in the very beginning. However, after the whole Diddy exposure, as well as the Epstein exposure that happened a few years ago, people are starting to wake up to the fact that the Hollywood industry is in fact satanic. And I believe that this Diddy exposure was the next domino to fall in the vast amount of dominoes that will fall after. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Piers Morgan has been hit with a cease and desist from Jay-Z and Beyonce after this shocking new interview that he just aired. Jaguar Wright, one of Jay-Z's backup singers who also attended Diddy's Freak Off parties, exposed Jay-Z and Beyonce as actually being worse than P. Diddy as well as them partaking in satanic rituals while the Freak Off sessions were occurring. Since then, Piers Morgan edited out of his interview the testimony of Jaguar Wright where she exposed Jay-Z and Beyonce due to him being threatened by their lawyers to comply. Piers Morgan also issued an apology by a allowing Jaguar Wright to come forth with these allegations. Now to find the original interview was virtually impossible. However, I was able to recover the footage so you can see the claims that Jaguar Wright made about the satanic aspect of Jay-Z and Beyonce's ritualistic freak-off. God is exposing the demonic industry in this hour and I believe that we are reaching just the tip of the iceberg. You knew Sean Diddy Combs for a long time. You attended a number of his infamous parties. Um, and in 2022, you made headlines of the comments uh, where you called him a trafficker, uh, and in response you were called crazy and jealous. Uh, do you feel vindicated yes. by the events of the last few weeks? No, not at all. Um, I... Because he's just the beginning. Until him and his cohorts are all held to account publicly and legally, the victims, they're not safe. So you want to know why there's no vindication for me? Mm. Because for four years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. And the victim-making machine kept going on. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? Because that's what he does. He starts little fires everywhere, forces everyone involved to go and carry water while he sneaks away without a response. That changes now, Sean. You must respond. You have no choice. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Robert Kelly, Sean Combs, have one person in common, professionally and privately. Sean Carter. This is absolutely huge. Now keep in mind that this woman worked with Jay-Z in the industry, so this isn't some random nobody making these allegations. In fact, if she was a nobody, Piers Morgan wouldn't allow her on live television in the first place. For those who were never at these freak-off parties, what were they like? Mm. See, this is the thing. Everything that I'm about to say to you is not my firsthand knowledge. It is my firsthand witness account experience. I was a sex worker. I was a dominatrix before I got my record deal. That's how I know how the dark world and the sex world and the entertainment world run hand in hand. The workers that I have worked with throughout the years and continue to work with even to this day have worn hidden cameras. I have my own tapes. I've seen what they do. The ritualistic behaviors, the drugging, putting girls in a Suitcases. Ritualistic behaviors, huh? Seems like these celebrities partaking in satanic rituals are becoming less of a conspiracy theory and more of a reality every single day. As some of you guys know, I used to live in Hollywood and a big part of my testimony and why I gave my life to Jesus is because of this exact same thing. I saw what was happening in the industry. I saw that satanic rituals were very prevalent. And I also saw that a lot of these celebrities were involved in the rituals as well. This is not a hoax. These celebrities worship Satan and they get real power from it. Keep in mind, this is a secular woman who's 
exposing this stuff. She has no Christian bias whatsoever. She's just giving you an eyewitness testimony of what she saw firsthand. <sighs> Dumping him in alleyways. It's, it's, it's horrifying. And it's all done under the protection of this is going to be paid off. There's another NDA. This is going to be, it's terrible. It seems to have been something that people, a lot of people knew about, but people were simply too scared knows. to talk about. Everyone knows. And every person that's sitting there trying to act surprised knows very well. The whole point of this, like Cat Williams said when he sat with Shay Shay earlier this year, the whole point of this is for them in a coordinated effort to pretend like none of it is real for the public's perception. How many victims potentially do you think there could be? Thousands, thousands. I've talked to hundreds that I deal with still myself. I have three victims right now who are willing to give testimony about not only what Mr. Carter has done to them, but his wife as well. They're a nasty little couple. They do nasty things. What do you think happened with Kim Keeping Port people against their will. Hmm. Putting people on planes while they're unconscious, just like Aaliyah got on that plane unconscious. There's a lot of things that people don't want to talk about. As you heard, Jaguar Wright lists Beyonce as another individual who took part in these satanic rituals against women. This is not the first time that Beyonce has been exposed for doing demonic things like this. Back in 2018, Beyonce's former drummer exposed her for partaking in extreme witchcraft. In fact, the type of witchcraft that Beyonce was involved in was specifically magic spells of this exact encounter. This seems like a very specific and odd thing to lie about, especially when it's countless different individuals who have been around these people and all of their stories are lining up up exactly the same. Not to mention, they're also risking their lives by saying this because these are very powerful and influential people. What even admitted further guilt, in my opinion, is how quick Jay-Z and Beyonce were to respond to these allegations when they don't respond to anything at all. And a lot of negative things have been said about them, so this definitely struck a nerve. We need to wake up and realize that witchcraft and occultism is real, and there is a literal devil at work. This further proves that Jesus Christ is real, and there are two kingdoms at work, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. The line in the sand is is being drawn and you have to understand that if you're not working for the kingdom of God, you are in the same category as the occult. Jesus made this very clear in Matthew 12 30 where he says, he who is not with me is against me and he who does not gather with me scatters abroad. Now is the time to make a decision to give your life to Christ because God is allowing this stuff to be exposed so you can see the clear divide in the spiritual realm as well as understanding how real he really is. If you made it all the way till the end of the video, I want you to comment down below, God's kingdom is supreme. If you guys want to financially sow into this ministry, Industry, I have an offering link that's in the description or I have merch you can buy which is also linked in the description If you guys want to watch my last video simply click up here And if you guys want to subscribe to the channel simply click up here I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out